it was 60. I don't know, as far as painting today, it was 64 when I left, so it should be within the paint range. Yeah. You know, 65, 66 at least. Top 69 today. I saw 71 for here, so yeah. Oh, really? It's in the ballpark. Well, you live in the rich neighborhood. I'm down there in the lowland. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. How are you today? I'm doing excellent. You? Good. Got some new goodies to show off here. Yeah. Want to give the tour? Yeah. Here we have the... Well, I'll start with this one. This is the headliner that we glue into the ceiling. And then we'll glue the, the actual headliner we glue to this. Right. And it's got a really nice color, but... I'll let you explain the UPS restrictions now. They said they can't send it in the cylinder in the long box. There's the box they shipped it in. So now we have 412,000 wrinkles that we're trying to get out. I thought you said you were going to let me explain that. Oh, yeah. Well, go ahead. <laughs> you already did. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you can see this is a foam-backed uh, headliner. Oh, is that 16th of an inch, 8th of an inch? I don't know what that is. Um, so it's nice. It's got a nice texture to it and everything. Very nice. um, Bought this from Midwest Fabrics, um, but when I ordered it, it said on the form, due to UPS restrictions, they have to fold it, and so you'll have to steam the wrinkles out. So I figured they would fold it in half or something because they couldn't do the full, you know, 60 inches or whatever. <laughs> no, they shipped it in a Amazon box, folded the whole thing into that little box there. So there are wrinkles all through it. Hopefully you can see these. Yeah, you can see that. So this thing's really wrinkled. So we were just debating whether, yeah, whether it would be better to try and steam all that stuff out now or get it glued on there, and then you know now we have something to hold it up against and whatever, right? Uh, to steam it. But I only have this weeny little steamer that my wife has that holds like I don't know six ounces of water or something. So <laughs> it's gonna take years to get all these wrinkles out. But we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, I got that, jeez, I don't know, a year ago or something's been sitting in a box. I said, you know, I should probably get that out of the box and get it flattening out. Um, I think it'll be okay. Uh, I put it this way. I figured this would be better because he always rolled up in the box like this, right? Yeah. If, then if we put it in the car, it's going to naturally in the center want to push up. If we, if we flip it the other way, then naturally want to push down in the center. Right. Um, this side has this uh, texture to it. I'm not sure which side you're supposed to put up or down. Of course, it doesn't come with any instructions or anything. But uh, yeah, which side would be better to glue the headliner onto? Don't know. But I think putting it in this way will help keep it from sagging. Because uh, this is not glued in. It's not glued in? No, you said glued in, but it's not. Oh, really? It's just held in place on the four, four sides. And then I guess the dome light helps hold it up in the middle maybe. But that's it. So what's this hole for here? What's it in the uh, visor? Oh, the visor. So then that'll set, hold it a little bit. That helps hold it yeah. a little bit, maybe. Don't know. Um, but yeah, there's not really anything that holds this in. It's not like the old style headliners that had the wires that go across and all that. Right. Um, so if they just stick under there and just held in place Does by. Do these fit in under the part that we're putting in today or painting today? Cleaning? Uh, no, those are done. I don't know where those are. Those are brand new. We bought those. Oh, okay. But yes, that clips into that. So those, the one that goes along the side here, so that basically all four sides, there's a piece of trim that sucks up to the top of the car and holds this in place. Okay. That's the theory anyway. Uh, so we got some more painting to do today. Yep. Cleaning, cleaning. Cleaning and painting. Yeah, let's go get those parts. Carol says, what All right, so these guys. Um... I don't know which one's the front and which one's the back. I'm surprised they're different length. I'm trying to think why that would be. So we'll figure it out when we put them in the car. But um, so these, like the A pillar things, are metal. Um, so we're gonna clean these up again with the acetone to get as much of this off as possible. And there's still the question on these guys because we use the SEM trim paint, but that's for plastic and this is metal. The question is, does this stuff really stick? Well, it seems like it's on there pretty well. Yeah, okay. Well, it seems to work on metal. Yeah. Even though it's not rated for metal. I got another can of that too, so. All right, let's get busy. Sure. All right, so I got these guys cleaned up. Um, didn't notice these had these plastic inserts on them. 
this one I was able to get off, this one I was not, and I didn't want to mash on it too hard and break it, so we're just going to try and clean it up a little bit. Um, see how that goes. This guy's got the second coat of adhesion promoter on it. Um, so for the back side here, again, I'm just going to hit it with the satin enamel and save the color coat for the outside. So let's go ahead and put a quick coat on there. All right, while well, we're painting those other pieces, we're going to get to work on these tweeter pods, wrapping them in vinyl. Um, so we're using this stuff, which is supposedly high temp and everything. Um, this is the best I could come up with, I think, for gluing down the vinyl and stuff inside the car uh, for the headliner as well. So I hope that can's enough. We'll see. It sprays out in a really thin thing. I thought it would come out in a, a fan, but it doesn't. It's just going to... Anyway, so let this tack up for a few minutes and then we'll start wrapping these things. I've never done anything like this before, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. All right, so those came out pretty nice. Um, it's a little cold, so the contact adhesive is not working as well as it could. Um, we haven't cut off the vinyl on the inside here. It's got to be cut right on that inside edge. Never let this fit in there, but I just jammed the tweeters in there to hold the vinyl in place while it dries. But I think that came out real nice. Pops wasn't so sure. He was doubting my technique. He didn't know if we'd be able to get that corner right there, but looks pretty good. Okay, Marco? Yep. This is the bottom here. You're not going to be able to see that, hopefully. But we'll find out once everything's dry and we cut it. Come back to that in a little bit. Of course, you didn't tell him I had to hold this with my finger for half an hour to make it look like that, huh? It's good for you. Yeah. Builds character. Yep. And these guys are pretty well done over here. Um, we're just going over the edges a little bit. There's a little bit of red poking out here and there. Um, but they look really nice. Like mint. None, none complaints there. So this stuff is just awesome. Love this stuff. All right. Didn't show how this thing came out, but it looks very nice compared to what it used to look like, for sure. It's a little chewed up and beat up, so it's not... It's not like new, but I'm not going to complain about it. I think it looks pretty good. Yep. Did you get your picture of this? I got it, yeah. Okay. I'll put it up there. Grab it. Um, yeah, so I'll give this a couple more minutes, and then we'll pop these tweeters out, trim it out, and then see how they look when they're done. Dirty. Yeah. Even Pops approves of this. That you looks, got it. That looks the Arbeit. Something like that. Thank you. Yeah, those look real good. Hopefully I'll be able to pop these back out because I still have to mount them. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it for the day. Oh, no. Another half day? You want to work some more? No. I didn't think so. So what do you want to do Saturday? Do the truck? Yeah. Then we can do the carriage. Carriage. The mounted. Yeah, so we were just talking about getting the rest of the interior put together. we got to get the speakers mounted, but we still have to do the spatter paint in the trunk. And it's supposed to be warm next weekend, so I think we'll do that because uh, we got to take the battery out and all that stuff. So do that next weekend, um, and then we can install all of the interior parts, I think. I don't think we're missing anything else. So we're hoping letting this thing sit here for another week. Maybe most of the wrinkles will come out on their own. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I'll yeah, just take a picture just to come with the colors. How nice they look. Oh, I have. Yeah, that's what's telling Pops. You can't get it better than that. When you walk in here, it looks like the car's got a black hood on it. It's kind of cool. Neat. But it's not a hood. Alrighty. Productive day. Yep. Small stuff, but it's out of the way. Yep. We're getting there. Yep. Alright, see you next time. Hi. Right.